Ran here, AK Mac, and welcome today. I just want to give a quick overview of the subscriber town hall that we had on Wednesday. This was two of the tech designers from Foundry 42 in the UK talking about ships and ship balance. Now, the first question is, will capital ships be capable of beyond visual range combat? And they say yes. Currently in the game, he says that you can actually target things beyond the visual range, but as ships get bigger, guns get bigger, and so the distance will just get further and further. Next question is, will cargo ships eventually be able to hold a higher speed at lower acceleration than a fighter ship? And this was something that was addressed a while ago, that bigger ships were going to be a lot quicker top end than the smaller ships. But it, so it sounds like they've changed their minds. It's now they're looking at real world examples, things like boats and planes. The bigger, the bigger boats, the bigger planes do not go faster than their smaller counterparts, the smaller aircraft and, and speedboats, for example, go much quicker. Big ships are relatively slow and they need to have their vulnerabilities. Otherwise, you'll never be able to catch a cargo ship and for pirates, that would just be hell. The theory is that if you have a large amount of cargo, you will not risk transporting it across unlawed space unprotected, which does kind of make sense. There will be high security space policed by the UEE, which will be where the lanes, the sort of trade lanes are. And if you venture from those lanes, it becomes dangerous and it's your own Stupidity, I guess, if you decide to do it on your own. Larger ships are built to defend themselves and to take a beating, though, so it's not going to be a case of just every time you get into a bit of a scrape, you're going to give up your cargo. There will be huge penalties for self-destruct, they did say, just on a side note, uh, especially cost, but there will be lots of gameplay implications yet to be developed, like spooling up your quantum drive and so forth. So there's a lot really to, to go at before they can say yes or no. Anyway, moving on, will manned turrets ever get some love? Um, targeting is difficult, and I can second that. Currently, there is practically no second crew member seat for multi-crew ships because the turrets are just awful. And they say they'll definitely look at it soon. Uh, when they test it internally, it seems fine. They say there's no problems with it, but then when they have the live release, it does feel very, very strange. And again, this is pivotal to the previous question where if you're defending a large ship, the turrets need to work well. So third question is... Will there ever be a, a decoupled EVA? And they say, yes, Chris Roberts and they do want this to happen. Everyone agrees it'll work really well. It's sort of similar to Free Look for FPS, which was discussed by Chris Roberts. And I think that is imperative. A bit like armor where your head can move independently from your body, especially when, when head tracking like Track Hat or Track IR come in. And uh, VR as well, of course. We need to have that visual situational awareness. So our next question is... The current large or medium ships flyable today have reduced speeds and agility. Is this flight performance relative to a fully laden or unladen ship? And they say that they have tested the ships as if they have cargo. So the large ships we are flying at the moment are as if they are full of cargo. They will likely feel better when cargo is implemented uh, and there's no cargo on board. The G-forces will be modelled so, you know, there will be some set restrictions when fully laden but their performance won't be a million miles away from what we already see at the moment, so don't expect big ships to be extremely nimble. Anyway, the next question is, pirates can fly constellations in Arena Commander, so is there any plans to make constellations flyable for players in Arena Commander? And they say, currently, the multi-crew gameplay is not up to where they where it's worth adding. Once multi-crew is, is fleshed out properly and there are more stations, they will likely add them. Again, going back to the second question about fixing turrets question after that is it's not easy to know what your damage state is on your ships will hit damage indicators be improved helping players realize their own ship damage and they say they are looking at this soon it's easier for it's easier to see in multi-crew ships with internal damage states for example they gave the caterpillar has some decent internal damage states so when you do get hit you can see something is clearly wrong but single seat ships do not things like cockpit sparks uh, screens scratching and cracking will come in eventually, it's just determining the best way to do this. Also, the MFDs or the multifunction displays are not greatly visible at the moment, nor are the graphics very clear. And Zane, who does all the UI for the, for the ships, has currently got some mock-ups which are expected to replace these. Also, something for another conversation is field of view. This is hot topic at the moment. They are looking into ways to make it more customizable to a certain degree. Next question is to do with the gamepad. Will this get any love? Currently I use Hotas, other people use mouse and keyboard and there are some people who use gamepad. Apparently the gamepad has been left behind. They say they are trying to unify the controls, but obviously there are far less buttons on a gamepad compared to a Hotas or a mouse and keyboard. So it's difficult to get it accurate. They are looking for gamepad users to give suggestions. So I'll check out the forum, see if there's anywhere there. If not, start your own thread, but they will look into a controller profile. So 
don't worry, you won't get left behind. So final question that I took from this is, the Catuel flight model doesn't match its description as a nimble scout light fighter or winning racing ship. And they say that it doesn't compete as well as the current racing ships on the, especially on these tracks, as they weren't really designed for the Catuel or they were designed before the Catuel came out. So trying to fly through those rings is just downright dangerous, but it does change direction and rotate very well. The weapons are not great, so targeting is very difficult. So yes, obviously all of the ships are not 100% complete yet in their flight model and so forth. So bear with it, it'll get sorted. Anyway, only a short one for the subscriber town hall, nothing too interesting. But sounds like we'll have some interesting 10 for the chairmans coming up. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. And I shall see you next time. <laughs>